Hey everybody, Fred Minnick here. Oh, I'm about to jump in this uh, right here, this uh, Russell's Reserve single Rick House. Been watching this show, or you listen to my podcast, The Fred Minnick Show. You know I have uh, I have already tasted this, and you can see this bottle. It's it's been you know it was backstage with me at Louder Than Life, my one of my favorite bands. We came as Romans, which congratulations for having. Um, so many, I mean, there, you should take a look at where their, where their album Dark Bloom is. It's like freaking, it's, it's like it hit the charts hard. Like it's in the top 10 in so many different areas. So kudos to them. I'd like to think it might be that they came on the Fred Bennett show and, uh, we're a good luck charm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's true. We actually, you know, people come on our show and, uh, they win Super Bowls, get in the hall of fames, you know, win Grammys. A lot of good things have happened to people who come on my show. At any rate, so this is, uh, we've already tasted this. Uh, I'll put a link in, in that show of like, you can kind of get my first impression of it, but that was mostly getting the band's impression of it. And so here I'm going to actually give it a legit, uh, legit tasting. Now, this is 10 years old. This is from Floors uh, 3 and 4. It's coming in at, I believe, 100 and 12.4 proof. Hmm. That's just big old vanilla. I'm just talking vanilla icing, vanilla batter, just woo wee vanilla city. And then I get some like dust, kind of like uh, some grain dust. If you've ever been around a mill, you can smell that like dust over there. You know, some people might uh, might say that's earth. I think it's very defined. But uh, earth tends to be a common note for people with wild turkey. Sometimes they will say that it's uh, it's funk. But I'm getting like a grain dust on this one. Wow. My first instinct here is that it has like a chocolate covered uh, coconut with some hazelnut, but then there's this an explosion of cinnamon. So while I'm getting all of this like coconutty, chocolatey note, this explosion of cinnamon comes in and just rocks my back palate. Like, I mean, it's like I'm still tasting the cinnamon on my palate. It is just overtaking it. It is, it's really, really defined. Mm. Really nice. Really, really nice. That cinnamon is, is just overpowering for me. I get this coconut and this chocolate. That vanilla is there as well. Uh, that kind of dusty, earthy note, I don't get here. So this does not, for me, have that uh, wild turkey funk. Um, I'm also not getting like um, what has been a, become a quintessential note for me in some of their limited edition products, which is uh, kind of a hatch chili. So the, the spice here is defined for me in the form of cinnamon. And this kind of also follows suit to what I was tasting before, uh, granted, it was backstage, and I had been sipping on a little bit of something, something all day, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, but it, it, it just really just lights up my my area where I pick up spice. And it is a really, really a cinnamon bomb. Uh, just really it, love this thing. I still feel it on my palate. It's still finishing. This is really, really, really nice. I'm not going to say it's great. I'm not going to go that far yet, uh, but I'm going to throw this in, a, in some blinds and, you know, we'll see where it falls. But I think this will probably do pretty well in my in my blind taste offs for, for the end of the year. But, um, you know, so that's going to be that that portion of the tasting. I wanted to wait to get through the tasting and the product. So, you you know, I can talk about some of the other things that are going on with Wild Turkey. Wild Turkey's uh, parent company, Campari just bought uh wilderness trail you better believe we're going to have some thoughts and ideas on that or some thoughts about that uh coming up i'm still digesting it still looking through the numbers and talking to people about it so 
I'm not really quite ready to to go on the record and talk about it yet, but you better believe we will be on both Bourbon Pursuit here on this channel uh, and just in general. And then uh, next of all, there's a big purge coming right now. Uh, the World Health Organization has uh, urged social media to take a closer look at alcohol content. And there's uh, people all over the world trying to get uh, bans on uh, uh, alcohol-related social media. So if you, you know, enjoy this, if you enjoy this uh, channel, if you enjoy my Instagram, just know it's in jeopardy based on like what's happening right now in the world. Instagram's already begun suspending accounts. We don't know why that's happening. Uh, but just to be safe, you know, if you want to stay in touch, we want to make sure you get, you know, alcohol related content, bourbon related content for me, sign up for my, subs for, sign up for my newsletter and I've got a link for it in the description. So, you know, I hope this channel stays around. I hope all my Instagram and other uh, social media accounts stick around, but you just don't, you just don't know with what's happening in the world. Everyone, uh, there seems to be a big power struggle, in social media and uh those of us who use it you know to share gospel of whatever we love you know we're the ones who get uh, axed later on so uh sign up for my newsletter if you would like to stay in touch and of course check out my books including my bourbon books but my rum book here if you're into rum i wrote a rum book called rum curious check that out as well but folks, be safe out there. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this review will help you in your journey of finding Russell's uh, Reserve Single Rick House. And note, I really love it, but you need to taste it for yourself and listen to other people as well. Don't just take my word for it. Be safe out there, folks. And remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. <laughs> hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. <laughs>